Welcome, collectors, and thank you for joining me once again for another episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we have another car culture set unboxing to do. This is the Deutschland design set, and there is one car in here that I am so excited about. I can't wait to show you guys. So there's five total vehicles in this set. There should be two of each for a total of ten. So let's not waste any more time and get the box open. So... If you guys are not familiar with Hot Wheels car culture, these are really catered towards the adult collector. Uh, they can be found in stores sometimes, but they're often very difficult to get a complete set. So I always recommend that you visit my friends at jcardiecast.com. That's where I purchased my set. Uh, there will be a link in the video's description right down there if you'd like to purchase that. All right, so looking from the top of the box down... That gives us our first glimpse of what's inside. We can see that there's two of those, two of those, two of those, two of those, and two of those. So we're off to a great start. All right, first out of the box, we have the Porsche 959 1986 edition. Very sharp looking car in plain white. By the way, the card art is also very very appealing on each and every one of these car culture sets i believe the designer um julian coils at hot wheels is responsible for these and he does a fantastic job so there's the background very colorful very vibrant on the back there's all five of the vehicles in the set starting from the top left the bmw m3 e46 the volkswagen t1 panel bus the porsche 959 1986 the Mercedes-Benz 300 SEL 6.8 AMG, and the Audi S4 Quattro. Here's all your copyright information. There's your barcode information if you need it. You can pause the video. Let's continue on. So there are two of those. Next up, we have two of the Volkswagen T1 panel bus. This is also extremely attractive in uh, this almost plain red with just a couple decals applied on it, uh, most notable of which is the Porsche logo. Once again, there is the amazing card art. This is number two of five in the set. By the way, the Porsche was three of five for those keeping track. Two of those. Next, we have the BMW M3 E46. I think this is the second or third time that we've seen this casting. The first time it debuted in the Fast and Furious Premium line with a white car with those kind of teal or green uh, rims. You can see my review of that car. If you look at the top of your screen right here, there'll be a suggested link for that video. This is one of five in the Deutschland design set. Pretty sharp with that metallic blue. Black on black, 10-spoke wheels. Here's the other one. Next up. Oh, yes. And it looks even better in person. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not disappointed. By far my favorite of the five. This is the Mercedes-Benz 300 SEL 6.8 AMG 1971 model, although it doesn't say it on here. Number four of five. This car is hugely um, significant in the world of uh, historic motorsport. We'll go into that a little bit more once we unbox it. Also known as the Red Pig. God, that thing looks so, so good. Again, two of those. So glad to have that in the collection. And last but not least, the last two out of the case, of which they are the same, is the Audi S4 Quattro, number five of five. So the Audi S4 Quattro and the Mercedes Red Pig are the two new castings that debut in this collection. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take a brief break. When we come back, we'll have the spinny table out and we'll take an even closer look at each of these five models. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this short break. All right, welcome back, collectors. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Let's go ahead and get these open. The first one we'll take a look at is the BMW M3 E46 in blue. Let's crack it open. This is number one of five in the set. As I said before, this debuted in the Fast and Furious Premium line. Before we put it on the table, there is the base information for those that are interested in that kind of thing. There we go. BMW M4, copyright 2020, Mattel. Uh, P11 for the base code. Let's put them on. 
Make sure we get zoomed in nice and tight here. Apologize about the camera. There we go. All right, hopefully we'll have a nice solid foundation here to look at the cars up close. All right. So, nice and beamer blue. I think it looks pretty good there. And uh, as far as the wheels go, I really like just the plain Jane black out of blacked out appearance kind of goes with this car very well with just the front decals and the rear decals uh, for the taillights and the headlights respectively just overall a very nice looking car and you can really put this anywhere on your diorama or layout and it'll fit in quite nicely as far as interior detail it's pretty nice but again it's kind of hard to see this is left hand drive we can see that right there with the steering wheel on the left hand side there you go very sharp, very impressed with the paintwork as well. Uh, there's a slight smudge on mine right here. That's all right. And then there's the Beamer logo as well. Headlights, taillights, BMW logo. Very, very nice looking car. Okay, next we have the Volkswagen T1 panel bus, number two of five. We've already seen the card art. Again, plain Jane, other than just a few decals that are on this. Uh, really like the Porsche decal that's on this, uh, kind of giving it the look that it maybe might be a, a Porsche racing team bus. I believe it's Rhindiced underneath. Not quite sure what that is. Maybe that's a sponsor, perhaps. Um, white wheels on this, which look great. Obviously, your VW logo on the front, along with your turn indicators and headlights. It's a very heavy casting as well. I mean, this has significant weight to it. Taking a look at the base underneath, we can see Volkswagen T1 panel bus, copyright 2011 Mattel, uh, and again, P11 for the base code. So that's the T1 panel bus. Probably my second favorite in this entire set, just because... You know, everybody likes the Volkswagen T1 uh, panel bus. This one obviously goes in with the racing theme very, very well. And that kind of bright red color is also very sharp. All right, number three is the Porsche 959 1986. Not a huge fan of this casting, honestly. Uh, I think it debuted in the rally set, the car culture rally set. Thrill Climbers, I believe it was called. This one is uh, not quite as busy as that one was. That one had a bunch of decals uh, and sponsors on it. This one is plain white. Taking a look underneath first for the base information, we can see Hot Wheels, uh, Porsche 959-1986, copyright 2019 Mattel, and we'll put him back on the table there. Uh, I, like I said, not a, not a huge fan of this casting. It just seems out of proportion to me. Love the black wheels, though. They do give it that aggressive off-road stance. Uh, the back of the car also looks just kind of out of it for me, but I do like the lights up here and the lights back here. So if I had to, if I had to choose one to leave uh, on the pegs, this is probably the one that I would leave. So, but you guys, let me know which of these five is your favorite and why, because I'm always interested to hear, you know, why you pick the one that you pick. All right, so we're going to go out of order for these last two. So normally the Mercedes would be up next because it's four of five, but we're going to do five of five, and we're going to save the Mercedes for last. This is the Audi S4 Quattro, another car that's blue. This is another new casting, debuting in this car culture set. Pretty sharp, I think. Um... Base code information for this should say copyright 2020 because it's a new car, and it does. 2020 Audi uh, S4 Quattro, there's your information. Pretty nice. This has a pretty cool looking sunroof on it. That's part of the overall window insert. You can see that. Another left-hand drive car. I think those are the, what, the six-spoke wheels, but they look pretty appropriate and realistic to what the, the, the actual rims are on this Audi. Pretty sharp. I don't know about you, but it gives me the transporter vibes because he's always driving, you know, a four-door Audi. You see the Audi rings on the grill, sharp headlights, 
great tampos really all throughout. There's even a tampo right here on the side and on this side as well. So not only on the front, on the back, but also on the side as well. So great, great looking car. Okay, we are going to wrap up with by far the best in this set. And the reason that I bought this entire set was for this right here. This is the Mercedes-Benz 300 SEL 6.8 AMG. So, back in the day, while I'm opening this, a little bit of story time here to share with you guys. Back in the day, AMG was a private tuner race car builder that specialized in making Mercedes-Benz cars go faster. Uh, the company was established, I believe, in 1967 by two engineers from Daimler's development department. And uh, AMG became a household name by the 1970s and early 1980s. Mercedes-Benz would eventually take over the company in the year 2014, the same year that their uh, factory Formula One team would go on to win the first Formula One World Constructors and Drivers Championship. Uh, it's one of the most iconic creations for Mercedes is this car, and they basically took the stock car from the base horsepower of 246 horsepower, uh, they tuned and got eventually 422 horsepower out of this motor. And the car was so well balanced and fast that it won its class in the 1971 24-hour race at spa Frankerstroms in Belgium, and it came in second place overall in that race. So again, very, very impressive for a heavy four-door touring car. Also important to note that it is said that only five total cars were produced, three race cars and two test cars. So if you ever see one, definitely make sure you take a video or a picture of it. Now, this casting is almost an exact replica of the Red Pig, which is the nickname for this car, down to the number and the yellow side decal placement. Uh, obviously, Hot Wheels is not there on the real one, and there's other sponsors' logos that are on, but the color is almost an exact match. Uh, like I said, the big yellow square decal placement, that's pretty much an exact match. But the fact that a car from 1971 and a big four-door Mercedes car would finish second in a 24-hour uh, endurance race overall and actually win its class is very, very impressive. And if you look inside the real one, it, it literally has wood paneling interior. Uh, there's just a, a roll cage inside. So, yeah, this thing is this thing is a beast. And if you do end up getting some pictures or videos of it, specifically if you if you find some old vintage video, uh, the sound that this car makes is just insane. So. That's my. That's one of the reasons why I love this car. Um, I'm always a fan of classic vintage race cars, specifically really anything from AMG, uh, and that's really again how AMG got their name. Now, of course, they're you know old owned entirely. They're a division of Mercedes Benz. Anything that AMG puts out right now really is technology that's taken from racing and put disseminated down and put into their road car program. But this is really where it got its start, and this car is just insane. Um, here's the bottom of it for the base, for those that you might want to take a look at it. Uh, here is copyright 2020, Mercedes-Benz, 300 SEL, 6.8 AMG. Metal on metal, that's another thing for those that are may, may be watching one of my car culture videos for the first time. Uh, these adult car culture sets, these are premium, full-on premium, which means they have rubber tires, they have a metal base, metal car, tampos on all, usually all four sides. Um, so that's why these cars are usually between $5 and $6 a piece, sometimes $7. Uh, they're not your typical $99 uh, Hot Wheels that you'll find on the pegs. So again, these are catered towards adult collectors. Anyway, that's my opinion, and that's my unboxing and review on the Hot Wheels Premium Deutschland Design Car Culture Set. Very impressed with all the ones in this set, particularly, obviously, the Mercedes uh, and the Volkswagen panel bus. Obviously, the BMW is cool as well, and even the Audi looks great, even though... It's kind of a blink, and you might miss it, especially if you're just racing to the pegs and you might be racing a couple other collectors. Uh, you might mistake the BMW and the Audi for being the same car, but in fact, they are different. Even the shade of blue is somewhat similar. Uh, as I said before, the Porsche 959, eh, not the best, but, you know, there's always worse things. But hands down, my favorite to end the video is the Red Pig by Mercedes. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Take a look at your screen right now. You will find another suggested link for one of my other car culture set reviews by Hot Wheels. And as I said at the very beginning of the video, if you found this video enjoyable or likable, please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe. It greatly helps with the channel's growth and the channels being discovered throughout the YouTube algorithm process. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next review.